This is going to be a video about conjugate pairs, which is a very important topic for Gen Chem 2. And so it's going to get its own video. Uh, and we'll use this a lot, but this will be the introduction. It says, uh, what is the conjugate base? So first off, a conjugate pair is an acid-base combination that only differs by one H plus. So what is a conjugate pair? So a uh, is an acid and base that only differ by a proton. And uh, proton, we've said, is an H plus. So uh, just to put that out there too. Now, uh, and that's uh, what we've been talking about. So uh, what is the conjugate base for CH3COOH? Well, the conjugate base will have one less H plus. So we've got to take an H plus away from CH3COOH, which is acetic acid, its name. And we have to do it, this one, we don't always have to do it in a specific way, but this one we have to do in a specific way because this H is what's called the acidic H or the acid H, and we'll even call it the acid H plus. This group, if you remember from Gen Chem 1 with me, or uh, many people do this, but not all. So uh, COOH is always a weak acid. So always a weak acid. And so, and the H in the COOH is always the H plus the acid H, if you will, or the acid H plus. So that's the one we have to specifically take away. So the conjugate base is going to be CH3, COO. Then when you take away an H plus, you're left with a minus. And so there will always be a charge difference between the acid and the base. And we've got this is their base, CH3COO minus, and the conjugate pair is going to be the formula for acetic acid, CH3COOH. And the base, so acid, base. And these are going to be particularly important for buffers. And we'll talk a lot about conjugate pairs for, for pairs for buffers as well. Let's do a second example. And this time we're going to look for the conjugate base of bicarbonate. That's the question. And to find the conjugate base, you always take away an H plus. There's only one H in this case. It's the one right there. When we take it away, we get a carbonate ion. And one of the things you'll realize with these conjugate pairs is that if you start with something you know, like acetic acid, you will end with something you know also on your ion list that we had you memorize in Gen Chem 1, which is acetate, CH3CO minus. Same thing here. We've got bicarbonate or hydrogen carbonate right there, which is something that we're familiar with. We take away an H plus, we're left with carbonate, also something that we're relatively familiar with. Now let's go and do uh, conjugate acids. And what's great about this is that this is a completely general Thing, right? So if if uh, if you take away for a conjugate base, you take away an H plus. For uh, conjugate acid, you always add an H plus. 
to get the conjugate acid. And uh, you can do it for anything. So for example, uh, CH3COH already an acid. Let's go ahead and find what its conjugate acid would be. And it will be the conjugate base. And we will see some weird things here that we haven't seen before, which is possible. But now it's a completely general approach. So we're going to add an H+. Plus. Where you add the H+, plus in this particular case, uh, doesn't matter. So uh, let's just go ahead and add it. CH3, COOH2. You could have put it there or CH4, COOH. Either of these would be fine answers for this question. In either case, you're adding an H. It's not clear where you should add the H, so just add it anywhere. Um, now, you can do this for acids, for bases that are known, for structures that are unknown. Uh, let's do one more. And this time, we'll just ask, what's the conjugate acid for H2O? And we'll go ahead and add H+. Plus. And we will get a familiar thing this time, our ambassador of acids, the hydronium ion. 